So guys, what's going on? Another day back in the channel, and as always, we're reviewing a good little bit of tech here. So I did a review a little while ago regarding some webcams. I did the Ozbot 4K. There was an Ezi, Ezimot or something like that, basic webcam. But today we're looking at something a little bit different. This is a smart live stream cam, and it is HD 2560, 30 frames per second. You've got smart zoom, 180 degree turn of tilt, and I believe this one's actually going to be quite an interesting video. So let's waste no more time. Let's get into it. So guys, this is what we are looking at today. This is the 2K Smart Live Stream Cam, and this is a HD 2560 by 30 FPS. Smart zoom, 180 degree of tilt. And this video, I am very, very much looking looking forward to. So this is from a company called AI Coco, and all their information will be in the video description. So why don't we just get this teared down, see what we're working with, and then we'll actually do a visual and audio check on this actual mic on this actual webcam. So let's just get into it. So first appearance that the packaging is extremely packed extremely well. Oh, this looks interesting. So I'm gonna get the accessory box out first. I'm gonna get this all out, and I'll be back in a second. So this is all the content we get in the box. We get the webcam itself, we get the charger and power cable, and we do get a small little user manual here, uh, pretty much telling you pretty much the ease of access. So let's have a look see. So the first thing that we do have is the actual webcam itself. As you can see, they've got more of the silver design going on. You do have some speaker grills up top here. We have the webcam camera itself going on here, as well as on the on the sides, it is just matte black going on with some speaker grills. You've got some LED indicators going on right there. Uh, so like I said, with the camera. Now on the bottom, we do have the mountain hardware. So this allows you to use it from a tripod. Or if you just want to pop this on the side of, say, a monitor or your laptop, etc., you can do also. Now, I know it seems a little bit weird at the start, but this is just pretty much moving freely. But obviously, when we get this connected, I'll uh, pretty much show you exactly why. And then on the side of this, we do have the micro USB port going on right there. So it's a little bit of a unique area. Normally, you find it on the side of the camera or, you know, the back of the camera. But ironically, here, they actually have it on the mountain hardware itself, which is pretty uh, unusual. So like I said, we do get the little user manual here. This is pretty much going to tell you everything you need to know, everything from the gestures, uh, how to actually get it connected up, and it shows you all the different ways you can connect it up and get it connected, which is really good. So we do get USB to micro USB cable going on there. So this is the power supply cable, so that's very nice to see. So the actual construction of the webcam itself is actually really nice. So we have all metal body going on here. We do have a little bit of a peel sticker going on here which is pretty much as um, the camera is locked at its uh, level factory. All that good stuff. We don't need that. I'm going to take that off. Stick that over there because we don't need any more. So yeah, overall, I do enjoy the matter of fact that they've went for more of a silver display. You've got more of a grey on the bottom, which is for the stand. So the colours are very comparative. And I do like the matter of fact that the USB Type-C is on here because obviously if this is going to start swivelling around... You probably wouldn't want the connection being on the camera itself just in case it starts to interfere in all that good stuff but i have to admit i do like the design they've even got the little logo going on the background here just to entice that and obviously we do have the usb to micro uh, the usb to usb type c these possibly are compatible with your own version of cables so it depends if you want to use your own version if you've got a longer one uh, and then of course the user manual so what we're going to actually do is get this plugged into the computer and See what's actually going on and see how good this little guy actually is. Let's go. Okay, so I know you can only see half my Oh, there we go, straight away. Never mind. So this is roughly what the camera looks like. So I am talking through the audio through the webcam, like my HyperX is currently turned off. Obviously, as we can say. So the HyperX is currently turned off, and this is what the camera looks like. So obviously, if I move this way, the camera follows me. Obviously, mind the mess, I'm currently doing a lot of videos. So we have three different um, actual uh, tracking software. So if I do this, it should stop tracking me. Nope. Ah, three seconds. There we go. So as we can see, I'm no longer being tracked. So if you want it set to a set position, 
You just need to put your hand up for three seconds. But if you want it to go back to being tracked, we'll start here. And there we go. Now that is super responsive, I have to admit. Like that is really, really responsive. So it absolutely is crazy. So there is a full 180 degree of rotation. Let's see if I am streaming and I don't want this in the background. I want a little bit zoomed up. L. And then if obviously if I move around, it will follow me. Put my hand up. It will stop following me. Nope, uh, that one. Oh. oh, there we go. So it starts following me again. That's fine. So like I said, you can zoom in with this as well. So, oh, I can zoom in even more. And it's just going to follow me. You know, you can see some products back there. Oh, uh, you see my phone and camera going on there. So it relatively is really cool. To get the zoom back out, just L shape. L shape. And there we go. So we are pretty much done. Now, I have to admit, it really is incredible for a webcam to have the ability to do this is really cool, especially if you're like a, a gaming streamer or online streamer. This can be on Express Frame because as streamers, you're continuously always moving. So you're here and then you're over here and then you're, over, you're back over here. So the camera is going to continuously follow you, but it also gives your viewers and your watchers that little bit of like, Right, he's not going out of frame all the time. He's not cutting out. He's not jumping around. He's moving over here, and the camera's actually following him as well as here. Plus, the audio itself really incredible. But I have to admit, extremely, extremely cool. So, if you are interested in going to grab one of these, links are in the description. Go check one out for yourself. Go grab yourself one and make your streaming or your lives so much more fun and cool. And of course. Let's go. So guys, there we have it. That was the video regarding this smart uh, webcam. And I have to admit, I am actually really ecstatic this actually turned up. When I first got out of the box, I was a little bit unsure because it just felt like really wobbly. And I was thinking, what is going on? But then obviously when I got it plugged in, got it all connected up, I thought to myself, ah, now I see where I went wrong. Uh, as they say, never judge a book by its cover or never judge a webcam by its operation. Not sure if that's a thing, but you never know. Yeah, I just felt it was really flimsy to start off with, but then obviously I didn't have it connected up. As soon as I got it connected up, you saw what it roughly looks like, and I have to admit it really was phenomenal. It looks absolutely incredible, and I think the thing for me is mostly design. I like the matter of fact that it's quite slim, it's minimalistic. Uh, it, this can sit on the side of my monitor, and I don't have to worry about it. It can just sit there, and I'm pretty much good to go. You know, like I said, it's 180 degree smart view. Uh, 25 60 by 30 frames per second and the image quality alone speaks for itself so if you guys do end up getting one let me do let me know down in the comment section below of how you feel uh yours is personally to yourself and we'll see what the comparison is i have to admit an absolute phenomenal product if you want to go grab one for yourself check the links in the description below i'm sure you'll be able to grab one for yourself and if you do get one you have any issues whatsoever don't be afraid to, to drop a message or even drop me an email i'm more than happy to help um, but as always, check the links in the description. Go grab yourself one and make your working from home experience so much easier and so much more fun, I have to admit. But in the end of the day, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And as always, have a beautiful day.